Hey, welcome back. It is great to see you. If this is your first time tuning in and you like the video, give me that thumbs up and subscribe so you can hang out through these cool adventures. I'm Erica and I'm coming to you from Crushed. So today we are going up to check out the troll here in Breckenridge. I'll show you that. And then we're gonna go drive Boreas Pass. So I'll, I'll be able to get some awesome views just like I did last night at Sapphire Point. I hope you enjoyed all of that in the last video. But in this video, it's also gonna be another chill day. This is such a great little hiking trail. It's, I'll turn it around here in just a second so that you can see, but the, the trees are just beautiful. Nice crisp air. <laughs> if you have any limitations, make sure you pay attention to that. Wear some good shoes, maybe bring some hiking hiking poles if you need that. But the, the path is is pretty decent, except for in between the rocks. You might kind of stub your, stub your toe, so keep your eyes down. <laughs> make sure you're watching where you're going. But it is just a beautiful hike. Beautiful hike. So I'll go ahead and turn that around, and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, is it one way up and one way back? Yeah, you're that way. Oh, nice. This is so cool. So if you ever have the opportunity, make sure you come see the troll here in Breckenridge. Um, what was I saying? Oh, today is not going to be a day where we're getting too far to the edge of our comfort zone. So the only thing that might be uncomfortable today is the Boreas Pass. So if you've driven in the Rockies at all, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Any kind of pass or summit, sometimes they can be a little bit precarious and you really have to just be mindful of the road and who's on the road, what the weather conditions are. And today it's beautiful. It's a little cloudy, but it's in the, in the mid 60s, just perfect hiking weather. But we're not going to get too far to the edge of our comfort zone other than driving through the pass. So today is going to be another beautiful day to recenter, recharge, just really be with myself in nature. So if you're not able to do that, join me and just pretend like you're here. And if you have any hiking places that are in your local area, check those out. Even if you've done them before, go out there again and try to do it with a new perspective, with new eyes. I bet you'll see something new on those trails. So go out there, recharge, recenter, do something new get to the edge of that comfort zone and in anything you do don't forget to get out there and just crush it and today's oh no i'm, I'm chitter chattering <laughs> no you're fine there. It's 
see, let's go more. sideways. Here? Yeah. It was a great little hike. Oh my gosh, so we're at uh, Boreas Pass in um, Colorado. I think we're to the east of Breckenridge and then, th so that's east and then this way is west. We got the Rockies right, we're, we're right in the middle of the Continental Divide. Oh my goodness. The drive up wasn't too bad. A lot of um, like potholes and the road was a little rough, but it, were, it wasn't too bad. I just wouldn't drive up here with like a low profile vehicle. You don't want to bottom out and end up jacking up the under, undercarriage of your vehicle, but um, worth the drive. Absolutely wonderful. Um, not as treacherous as going up Pikes Peak. I don't know if you've ever done that before. Right there next to Manitou Springs and Colorado Springs. That is, that is treacherous. I, I've done it once. I can say I've done it, but I don't think I'd ever do it again. It's um, quite scary on those hairpin turns, but uh, the drive up here was, was not too bad at all. I highly recommend it if you have the opportunity, go up Boreas Pass and check out the Continental Divide and you can see all these cool um, and beautiful landscape behind me. I would say right up to the edge of my comfort zone driving up here, but going up Pikes Peak, definitely prepared me for, for this drive. I'm so glad that I have encouraging friends and family and they are, are pushing me to get close to my comfort zone and, and try something new. And this is absolutely new to me. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to share this with you and share the adventure. Lines right up with that mantra, love the life that you're in and try something new. And I'm keeping my peepers peeped because I, I know that there is wildlife up here. There might be bears or moose. So I definitely don't want to invade their territory. So I want to make sure I'm very respectful of the nature. And I'm so glad that I got to bring you up here with me and share this adventure. I forget make sure you really pay attention to your body so as you could hear me walking up the hill I was huffing and puffing not sure if I'll share that as part of the video but um, taking a little bit of steps at a time stopping checking my breath checking my heart rate you know making sure that all, all functions are operating optimally make sure you do that so if you have any limitations please even if you don't have any limitations just make sure you pay attention to your body and before you do something like this and you're going to a higher altitude, please hydrate. Maybe purchase one of those oxygen bottles that you can take a quick whiff, whiff of if you, if you feel like you're getting too much out of breath. You know, the whole point of this is to get out, recharge, recenter, you know, try something new. We don't want to break. We, we want to make sure that we are loving our body as well as the life that we're in. So make sure you pay attention to your limitations and just listen to your body. This is absolutely a thumbs up on my book. And I would love to do this again. Ah!